Welcome again to Bonita's Kitchen. Uh, what I'm going to do for you today is homemade pizza. And you probably say, well, why are you making homemade pizza? It's not a traditional Newfoundland meal. But I had a request from a friend um, to show her how to do uh, my homemade pizza. And uh, so I'll get started. Um, so the bread that I did on my first segment with homemade bread and buns is the same mixture. So what I'm going to do is just take a portion. I got some flour on it because I want to get out it from being a little too sticky. And so what I'm going to do is cut off a nice portion here. I'm going to take all of it for the flour. So I put a little bit of flour on it to help it with the stickiness. So again, um, we're going to do the homemade pizza will be fully loaded. I'm going to put about a tablespoonful of extra virgin olive oil on my pan. So I'm going to brush all of that over. This is an extra large pan, so that needs to feed a big family or People that's extremely hungry, which I'm sure there's a lot. I'm not into flipping the dough over my head. So for those of you who says, let's do it that way, I don't do it that way. So I'm going to put a little bit over the top just to make it oily for me so as I could spread my dough onto my pan evenly. Don't have to be. Don't have to be perfect because after all, you make it for yourself. I got it up on top of a cork because I don't want to scratch my table. So I'm doing a little bouncing there. So again, just a little bit, maybe a teaspoonful of olive oil to help spread out the pizza dough. You can have it as thick or thin as you want. Spread it evenly so that you got a lot of crust up at the end. Some people like to put mozzarella in your crust, but I'm not going to get into that right now. I'm just going to do it the way that I usually make it for my family. And after I completed that, again, the dough is the same dough that you would make for your bread. Uh, you don't have to put anything extra into it unless you want it to add some stuff extra. I'm going to use regular pizza sauce. I just take a few little scoops and evenly put it out onto your pan. I'm going to spread it over. Now, my, my husband loves lots of pizza sauce so I probably that may not be enough in this portion so let's try more and after all it is a, a big pizza so you want to make sure this is not a spicy pizza or a spicy sauce but uh, I think it's a I don't know how many ounces is in that sauce but it's about a half a cup there, one more little bit, should be lots. And then I'm going to take one piece of garlic because I wanted to put a little bit into my pizza just to make it a, that little more flavor. I'll spread that over. use as much or as less as possible. It's entirely up to you. I got one there that I'm going to use. I'll spread that over. Less flavor. Now I'm also I'm going to start with my ground beef that I pre-cooked with just a little bit of salt and pepper into the ground beef. So I'll spread this over evenly. 
again, this is a fully loaded pizza. You can have as much or as less as you want. You can do half and half. I'll just that was about a about a cup, half three quarters of a cup. I'm going to use pepper uh, salami that I pre-cut. And again, it's all in your own portions. I got about, again, about 20 slices here. I don't think I'm going to be able to use it all, but I'm going to use as much. And maybe I won't use it all. There's extra large pizza, so let's get greedy here and use it all. There you go. And then next I'm going to put over, I got three pep uh, pepperoni, three mushrooms, sorry. Looking at my pe pepperonis. So. There you go. Evenly spread. And this is definitely a fully loaded pizza. So. And again, if you don't, this is about a quarter of onion. Evenly spread that. If you don't like onion, don't put it on. If you like it cooked before, you can pre cook it. Just frying pan and skillet it up. I'm going to use a portion of my peppers and then I'm going to use this about a cup of uh, mixed peppers there. The red, green and orange. I'm going to put a little bit there first and then I'm going to put the rest over the top because I do like it both ways on my pizza. And on the top, mozzarella with this the three, three mozzarella and uh, you can go with the three kind mozzarella or you can go with spicy mozzarella and this is a cup that I got here. Lots of mozzarella. There you go, lots of lots of lots of mozzarella. I pre-cooked some bacon, it was about four slices before, just to ream out the grease so you don't have too much grease over your pizza. And now I'm going to top with a little bit more peppers, make it colorful. And this is some basil. I got about a teaspoonful of basil. It's already grated. Basil, so I'm going to put it over the top, add an extra bit of flavor, and just some freshly ground pepper. Now we're going to put this in the oven at a preheated oven, I should say, at uh, 350 degrees. You can add more. You can do pepperoni, just a pepperoni pizza, or you can do you know, your pineapple, etc. So, but for me, fully loaded. I'm going to put it in the oven 350 for about half an hour, 40 minutes, or till golden, of course. And then, when it comes out, we will have a big pizza and enough to feed quite a few people. But So, I hope you enjoy this portion. When we come back, we will show you what it looks like when it comes out. Thank you for joining me. See you in a bit. Bye-bye.